So this video is an MCQ video for antenna subject. So you have seen 10 questions. Now we are going to see the solutions of the 10 questions. Okay. Again, if you want mostly numerical questions from antenna, it is being included in the antenna playlist. There are uh, two or three videos discussing antenna numericals only. We can see those videos. In this video, I have included more theory or concept related questions. Okay. So the first question is, you'll be seeing the questions on board. The basic requirements of transmitting antennas are dash a high efficiency b low side lobes c large signal to noise ratio d none of the mentioned so for a transmitting antenna the basic requirement is actually high efficiency and high gain okay so these are the basic requirements of a transmitting antenna whereas for a receiving type of antenna it should have a high signal to noise ratio that is the signal will be so there is a transmitting antenna here and there is a receiving antenna here. So the transmitting antenna should have a high efficiency and the receiving antenna should receive the signal with high SNR or signal to noise ratio. So the signal will be actually transmitting through the atmospheres. There is a lot of noises involved in the atmosphere and it should be able to recover the signal. So it should have a high signal to noise ratio. Okay, so that is a requirement of a receiving antenna for a transmitting antenna high requirement of efficiency so the correct answer is a high efficiency is the correct answer moving on to the second question the second question is the basic equation of radiation that is applied to any antenna irrespective of the type of antenna is dash a i l equal to q v b i q equal to l v c i by l equal to q by v d none of the mentioned so for a basic equation of the of an antenna is equal to i l equal to q v actually we have discussed this video in one of the uh, mock tests i think okay so i l equal to q v is the basic equation for antenna where i is the time changing current L is the length of the current element, Q is the charge and V is the acceleration of the charge. Okay, so the correct answer coming is option A and the correct option is option A which is IL equal to QV. Okay, so that is the second answer's correct option, option A. Moving on to the third question. Okay. So the third question is the beam width of the antenna pattern measured at half power points is called dash a high half power beam width b full null beam width c beam width d none of the mention so we have discussed in the antenna formula revision video about half power beam width hpbw its equations Okay, so this is actually the beam width of the antenna which is measured at the half power points. So when we are taking the half power points of the antenna pattern, and if, it, if you are measuring the, if you are measuring the uh, particular beam width at that half power points, it is called HPBW which is half power beam width. And hence the correct answer for this question is A, that is the half power beam width. So the beam width of an antenna measure at half power received is the half power beam width. Okay. Moving on to the fourth question. The fourth question is connected to the, the solid area. The solid area through which all the power radiated by the antenna is called dash. A beam area. B. Effective area. C. Aperture area. D. Beam efficiency. Okay. So that is nothing but the beam area. So the solid area through which all power is radiated is called its beam area. And through that beam area, all power is actually getting radiated. Okay. So correct answer is option A. Again, we have done a formula revision video of antenna and also we have done a video in which we have discussed all the types of antennas and the subcategories of antennas okay so if you want to have a quick revision of antenna subject 
these videos are being included in the antenna playlist okay moving on to the fifth question so the question is connected to transmission lines and antennas okay what happens when the radiation resistance of the antenna matches the characteristic impedance of the transmission line so what happens when the two resistances matches radiation resistance and also the characteristic impedance of the transmission line when this matches what happens a no transmission occurs b no reception occurs c swr which is standing wave ratio okay so what is swr it is standing wave ratio so this swr is maximum d swr is minimum so when the radiation resistance radiation resistance is equal to the characteristic impedance of transmission line generally denoted by z0 okay so when these two quantities are equal then there will be minimum standing waves that getting generated okay so the standing wave ratio will be actually minimum so correct answer is option d again we have done a formula revision video of transmission lines in that we have discussed about all these things okay so if you want to know about standing waves and standing wave ratio again i have done a separate video on vswr also so all these things are given in the emt playlist okay so moving on to the sixth question so let me just remove it so the sixth question is is connected to a type of antenna the type of dipole that has higher bandwidth is called dash a conical antenna b yagi antenna c helical antenna d macroni antenna so the type of type of dipole antenna which is having higher bandwidth is called conical antenna okay so that is the correct answer for the sixth question generally we use conical antennas for requirement of higher bandwidth okay so sixth question correct answer is a seventh question the radiation pattern of a half wave dipole has a shape of dash a donut b sphere c hemisphere d circular correct answer is the radiation pattern of this particular half wave dipole antenna is having a donut shape okay so what is actually radiation patterns the radiation pattern of any antenna is actually is the shape of electromagnetic energy radiated from the antenna that can be either transmitter antenna or receiver antenna the electromagnetic energy pattern or its this uh, energy structure how the energy is getting spread across the antenna element it is called the radiation pattern okay so it is it, it will be uh, generally categorized according to some geometrical shape uh, like n fire so there are various shapes of radiation patterns so this the radiation pattern of a half wave dipole antenna is the question and the radiation pattern is actually having a donut shape correct answer is option a the other given options are also various type of radiation patterns which are exhibited by various other type of antennas okay so moving on to the eighth question which of the following antennas produce a vertical radiation pattern so then generally you can uh, classify the radiation patterns as horizontal in uh, that is horizontal to the plane or vertical to the plane so which of the given antennas give a vertical radiation pattern is the question a dipole antenna b yagi antenna c macroni antenna d hertz antenna the correct answer is c macroni antenna produces a vertical radiation pattern so we have discussed about two type of radiation patterns in this video first one is half wave dipole antenna they are having a donut shape radiation pattern pattern here the macroni antennas have a vertical radiation pattern okay so correct answer is option c macroni antennas ninth question
So the ninth question is, what is the impedance of a folded dipole antenna? A. 50 ohm, B. 100 ohm, C. 300 ohms, D. 20 ohms. So the radiate the impedance of a folded dipole antenna lies in between 200 to maximum 300. Okay, so since it is maximum 300, and also in the options you cannot really find any 200. It is 300 ohms. It is the impedance value of a folded dipole antenna. So the correct answer is 300 ohms and it is in the range approximately from 200 to 300 maximum up to 300 it can go. Okay. So correct answer here is option C 300 ohms. Then last question which is the 10th question. Dash antennas consist of a rectangular arrangement of antenna elements with a feed network yeah with a feed network so we have discussed in the type of antennas video we have mainly discussed all the categories of antennas and we have also discussed what all antennas come under each category okay so that is actually a very quick revision of the type of antennas so in that we have discussed about a category of antennas which are called array antennas. Okay, so if you have seen these type of structures, so these are actually array antennas. The Yagi Uda antenna, all these antennas are array type of antennas. And in these antennas, the peculiarity is that you can see the rectangular arrangement of, you can actually think of this as a rectangular arrangement of the antenna elements and then there will be a feed also okay so this will be the feed so this type of arrangement of antennas is called array type of antennas okay and the question is exactly the same dash antennas consist of rectangular arrangement of antenna elements and a feed network so that is nothing but array antennas okay so correct answer is a with sorry it is b which is array antennas so these are the 10 questions I have included in this video. As I said in the beginning, I have mostly included theory questions only because I have done 2-3 videos on the numericals only. Mostly all type of numericals we have discussed in those videos. I will be sharing those links in description also. If you want to have a look, you can go through the numerical questions as well. And also there is a separate antenna playlist created. In that you can see the quick revision of antenna types and also you can see the videos related to the antenna formula revision videos so if you are preparing for any competitive examinations and you want a quick revision of these subjects please do go through the playlist okay and if you want uh, to revise antenna subject please go through the antenna playlist so if you found this video useful please do give it a thumbs up and also share with your friends and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching